I've been an Android-specific user for many years, and with the release of the Samsung Galaxy S8, I've started to think of trading up. This brings us to the review of the Samsung Galaxy J7, and possibly my final weeks with it. Is it still worth it for others in 2017? My Samsung Galaxy J7 comes with a matte white finish and silver trim. This phone comes in white, which is the color featured in this video, gold, and black. The front of the phone is a 5.5 inch 1280x720p display. Below it are the multitasking buttons, home buttons, and back buttons. On top we have a 5 megapixel camera. On the back we have a plastic backplate with the Samsung logo, a 13 megapixel rear facing camera, that supports resolutions of 1080p at 30 frames per second and HDR. Under the removable plastic back is a removable 3000 milliamp battery, micro SD expansion, and a SIM card slot. The J7 features a 5.5 inch 1280 by 720p Super AMOLED display, which makes it look better than the typical 720p display. Colors are more saturated and pop more as a result. This phone features a Qualcomm Snapdragon 615 CPU, Qualcomm Adreno 405, 2GB of RAM, and 16GB of storage. The camera is pretty decent and takes good enough pictures and video for me to use on a daily basis. With the rear facing camera, I made sure to turn on HDR, because without it, video and pictures will look very soft and overexposed. In this clip indoors and one outdoors, the video is clean and stable with no signs of blurring. The front facing camera is a 5 megapixel one. Just like the rear facing, video and pictures are clean and stable with no signs of blurring. While playing Mario Run, the Samsung Galaxy J7 produced a crisp image and audio that in combination served to enhance the gaming experience. The screen was responsive and made swiping and tapping easier than on lower end phones. I wanted to see for myself how the J7 performed in Geekbench. So after waiting 10 minutes, I got the result. The J7 scored 507 in single-threaded and 2642 in multi-threaded. Single-core performance is subpar, but the multi-core performance is great for casual use and light gaming. I myself have small hands, so using a larger phone like the J7 can be a bit demanding at times. The operating system is very easy to use, though it's still running on Marshmallow 6.0.1. Performance in everyday tasks is great. Movements and animations are very smooth and intuitive. With minor use, it will last about 8 to 10 hours. But with heavy use, battery life is as low as 6 hours. For a budget solution, this phone nails everything I need to do. But if I had to pick at something, it would be the battery life. Would be nice if it was longer, but it already has the minimum that I need. The Samsung Galaxy J7 is a decent phone with an affordable sticker price and is suited to a more youthful crowd. It's very affordable and offers a lot for the money. I'm happy with my purchase, but soon we'll hope to upgrade for an overall better performance. To stay updated on our weekly videos, subscribe and please remember to click the bell to turn on notifications. Links to all of the mentioned products will be in the description. This has been Nick from Tech Summit. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.